Hello, this is Aiden from Through the Minds, and today I'm going to show you a pre-release beta, 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 of Minecraft 1.8. Uh, I'm pretty sure Notch does this on purpose because in his tweet he said he had a little smiley face and he said that uh, a pre un like unlaunched pre-release beta of 1.8 was accidentally released, so. Well, yeah, I downloaded it, and it's pretty cool. It has some bugs, uh, but Jeb is working on that right now. Smooth Jazz will be deployed in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so this is the new... Uh, screen other than now instead of the dirt background we have a panning view of some minecraft world i'm not sure if this is like the world worlds you have or it's probably just a picture but anyway i'll show you some of the options you can now do a like quake sort of view i'll show you that once i actually go into the game more controls change the mouse buttons and you know other stuff like that and and you can choose the brightness to go uh, make it more bright or you know etc that's pretty much it new for video settings multiplayer uh oh, i can't connect to a server because there is no server um jar you know servers that run 1.8 right now but I can sh you can add a server, name it, the put in the server I uh, address, and it will add it to your list of servers, and it will tell you if you have a connection or not to that server, so you know before you log on if you can actually get on to it, or you can just do direct connect, and direct connect to the server address. And uh, I'm not sure you can probably. Um, this will have like you can add mods into here uh probably one time but i can't show that yet and now there's lots of new options for creating a world name it but you can also make it survival or creative you can and uh make it have npc villages and dungeons and you can add a seed right here so I'll create a new world since in my other world I'm I'm doing some stuff in a mine shaft. And I'll make it. I'll show you survival first. So this is a world just randomly generated. Uh, as you can see, I have a uh, hearts, regular heart, and I also have a food bar. The way the food bar works is, uh, once, like, uh, oh, and pigs have snouts too, see. Anyway, once I kill this pig, come on, come on, die, it gives me experience points and it didn't give me any pork, so I'll make I'll punch some wood and get some swords so I can actually get some things out of these pigs. Okay, I've just got made a storm sword and I'm gonna kill this pig. Come back here. There. Okay. So I got pork. And since my food bar is full, I cannot show you the eating animation because it won't let you eat without um, your food bar actually having some, uh, not having any, no, you know what I mean. 
There's also there's vines too, hanging off the trees. And some kind of weird uh, terrain generation going on here. Big, bigger mountains. Okay, so I'll build myself a little hut. Okay, I've made a little hut, and I am ready to go try and find a cave. And there's several new features in caves now, I believe. Um, in my other world, I found a a miner a miner's cavern miner shaft, which has some wood and tracks in it, and it's really really expands. Uh, it's a big expansion of uh, caverns and. And I believe there's a chest at the end, and I found a big ravine with uh, lava at the bottom. Oh, here's a cave. Oh, and there's a creeper. Okay, better get out of here. And uh, we gotta get find coal somehow. I don't think there's coal in there. So we'll probably have to go uh, uh, make some charcoal. So. Oh, and another thing is food is stackable now. Which is really nice if you want to store some food for the winter or something. Don't have it to have annoying chests filled with just 20 pork chops. Another cool thing is uh, when you're, well, maybe not cool when you uh, try to, when you're trying it to kill a mob. Uh, shadows thing. Uh, when you're trying to kill a mob, other mobs will run away if you hit it. Like, can I find, like, for example, hit it, tries to run away. And the other mobs around it will run away too. Oh, and I'm not sure exactly what experience points do yet. I think that's in another update. I think Notch said that, but we'll have to see. Another another feature of the update is a more uh, orange sunset. The clouds, some of the clouds turn orange, and it looks prettier take a screenshot of that okay now we'll go uh, look in that cave that we found earlier if I can find it I'll show you sprinting too so when you double tap W or whatever your up key is you go faster and uh, I'll show you what in third person. And also there's new lighting engine. So the the light in caves might look a little weird. I thought I thought it looked a little weird, but it's supposed to be more realistic. And I haven't seen an Enderman yet. I'm not sure where if they spawn a certain location I know in the video that I saw one that spawned at a beach so maybe that's only where they spawn but oh look there's a creeper two creepers three three creepers that's nice um, come on die Wow, where are all these creepers coming from? Is there a spawner or something? Maybe I'll just have to deal with it. Oh, I can show you the eating animation now. Om nom nom, wait. Om nom 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 nom. That's it. It's pretty funny. I'll have to survive it. Ah! Oh! Ugh. Ah, I survived that. What's that over there? Oh, hello, zombie. Nice to see you. 
So as you can see, the lighting is sometimes more um, like halogen, and sometimes it's warmer yellow. Looks it's kind of weird. I think. Oh yes. Okay. Great. So this is a mining shaft. At like I said, wood. It also has some cobwebs, which sometimes get really annoying. And uh, yeah, and it has some track. And they sometimes get put in weird places like this. Spawn in weird places. And this might be a rev. Oh, that's not good. And creepers have a new blowing up animation. If you saw that. Maybe I can maybe I can jump that. Haha! <laughs> Thank you, sprinting. But I don't have any more torches. Hmm. Hopefully I'll find some coal. Oh, well, well. Totally missed that. Gotta get some wood. Uh, a great thing about mining shafts is they give you wood, so when you, whenever you run out of wood in, in the caves, you have to always go back up and get more wood. But now, if you find a shaft, all you have to do... Oh, zombie. All you have to do is find a mining shaft, and you'll have lots of wood. Because these stretch on for a long time. Oh, how did you get there? That was close. Okay, back to exploring the mine shaft. Ah, freaking webs, okay. Oh, and also my. Oh, there's an Enderman! Oh, there's two! Oh, my.